Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's video I'll show you how you can create this epic video effect in PowerPoint where the text rises from the mountains and after that it goes behind the mountains as well. And all of that is possible in PowerPoint. So let's go! Ok my friends, let's jump into the world of PowerPoint and I'm jumping into PowerPoint Office 365 and let's just create a blank new slide so that we can create everything from scratch. And the first thing that we have to do is find a beautiful video that we could use and I went to pixels.com and I found this awesome video by Eberhard, this beautiful landscape time lapse video. As you can see the sky is changing but those mountains are static and we'll use them as video mask, ok? And this video is about 17 seconds long, I think that's long enough and you can always uh, trim it in PowerPoint if you wish. And you can choose any resolution that you want, I went with Full HD. Ok, so I already got this video, so let's get back to PowerPoint and let's just find that video, drag it and drop it into our beautiful slide. That's super awesome, and now let's make sure that we bring this video to the center and middle of the slide, just like that. And let's make sure that this video covers the whole slide, and to do that we can just grab one of the corners of the video, hold down the Control shift keys to resize from the center until uh, the video covers the whole slide. And after that we can just crop the top and bottom edges of the video so that uh, this video has the same aspect ratio as our beautiful slide. Click on crop to finalize the changes, and skadoosh my friends, we have a nice full screen video. And now let's just quickly jump to the format video panel and let's just add a minus 5% brightness which means we'll add 5% of darkness to the video because later on we'll be adding some white text on top of this video and this way that text will stand out a little bit better. And now in the video playback options let's set this video to start automatically and we can set it to loop until stopped. So now if we would play the presentation from current slide the video should start playing automatically and it should be looping until the end of time. Ok, everything seems to be working just fine. Alright, and now let's jump to animations and let's see what's going on in the animation pane. So together with this video, PowerPoint has inserted a play animation and a trigger. We don't need that trigger, so let's remove it. Let's just leave the play animation and let's make sure that it starts with previous, not after previous, ok? So the video should start playing automatically, that's good. Ok my friends, and the next big question is, how do we actually separate this video into two different layers so that we could put anything that we wish behind those mountains, for example my little beautiful dog Mars. Hey Mars, say hello, woof woof, hello everyone. And the whole secret to creating this video effect is using two identical video clips. So one video will be our video background, so we can just rename this video, video background, ok? And after that let's just duplicate our video background so that we get a second video clip, ok? Let's make sure that the second video clip is aligned to the center of the slide as well and we can rename it, let's call it video front. And now all that's left to do is to remove or crop out the sky from the front video. So let's make sure that the front video is selected, let's use the crop tool and let's just crop the top of that front video. And now as you can see our little dog Mars uh, sits between the front video and the video background. And this is how you can easily create this kind of video sandwich effect. But of course uh, we don't want to crop our front video just in a straight line just like that. We'd like to follow those mountains, the line of the mountains. And to do that is a little bit more tricky. So for now let's uh, hide our little dog Mars. Let me remove this front video for now and let's just uh, create a new front video once again. So let's just duplicate the background and let's rename the top video to video front, ok? Alright, so the question is, how do we actually crop the front video precisely to the mountain line so that the sky is removed and only the mountains are visible? And one way to do that is going to insert shapes and using the freeform tool and I'll just click multiple times and try following the mountain line as precisely as you can. Join the ending point with the starting point and you'll get a nice shape. And now let's make sure that the front video is selected, let's hold down the shift key, select our custom shape and now let's go to merge shapes and let's choose subtract. And by the way, if you don't have Merge Shapes button in your quick access toolbar, don't worry, check out the video description where I will leave a link to my previous video where I explain in more detail how you can add Merge Shapes button to your quick access toolbar. And now let's continue. So let's just choose Subtract and now the sky should be removed from the top video, we can unhide the Mars dog. And as you can see now, the dog is behind the front video, that's super awesome. 
And as you can see, this method works, but it's not super precise. You would have to really click and follow those mountains. So let me show you one more way how we could actually precisely remove the sky. And for this method, we'll be using a free online tool. And before we jump to that online tool, once again, let me make a new front video that uh, we could uh, use later on. And before we continue, let's make sure that we copy this video. Just hit Ctrl C to copy. And now let's jump to Photopia.com, a free online photo editor, and hit Ctrl V to paste. And of course, we haven't pasted the video itself. We just pasted a screenshot, but this is all we need. All right, and now we'll have to select the sky. And to do that, we'll use the quick selection brush and we'll have to click a couple of times on the sky to select it. And if you wish, you can use the square brackets to change the size of your selection brush. And now let's just start clicking on the sky. And if it's hard for you to see what you have selected so far, you can hit letter Q to enter the quick mask mode. And everything that has this kind of red overlay means it's not yet selected. So let's make sure that we select the whole of the sky. And at the same time, I have made sure that I'm in the Unite selection mode, which means that with each click, I'm just expanding my selection instead of just overriding my selection. And by the way, if you see some spots that you'd like to adjust, for example, here I have selected too much of that mountain. In that case, we can select the Lasso tool. Let's make sure that we're in the Subtract mode. And now let me select that part of the mountain that I would like to subtract from the selection. All right, looking good. All right, so the sky has been finally selected. If I hit letter Q to enter the quick mask mode, as you can see, the sky is nicely selected. That's beautiful. And now before we continue, let's just insert a blank new layer. That's good. And pick any color that you wish. I have yellow. And now let's choose the bucket tool and let's just click once on that selected area on the sky. And now we have a beautiful nice yellow sky on a separate layer. And by the way, we can remove the selection because we'll be not needing any selections anymore. All right, and now let's jump to the layer list. And for now, we can just hide the background photo. Okay, let's make sure that our yellow sky is selected. And now let's go to image and let's choose vectorize bitmap. And this is the point where we will convert this sky into a vector shape. I have chosen the photo mode and I have checked the polygon and just click OK. And now we have a nice yellow sky, which is actually a shape that we can export as SVG and later on import into PowerPoint. So let's make sure that we export this file as SVG. Just choose SVG, give it a name that you wish, and let's just click on save. Okay, my friends, and now let's get back to PowerPoint. Let's just find that uh, sky shape that we have just created in Photopea. Let's just drag it and drop it into the slide. Okay, so here it is, and let's make sure that we convert this sky into a shape so that we can actually see those vector points. That's good. And now let's make sure that we choose our top uh, video, our front video, then hold down the shift key, select that custom yellow sky, and choose subtract. And this time, my friends, we have done a really precise work of cropping or cutting out that sky from the top video. And of course, feel free to use any method that you like. You can use the freeform tool in the PowerPoint or you can use the Photopea to create that SVG shape. And once again, let's make sure that we name our top video, Video Front. Okay, my friends, and next, let's make sure that both of the videos are starting to play at the same time, which means that we have to add a play animation to the front video as well. Let's make sure it starts with previous, okay. And let's make sure that there are no delays. Uh, as you can see, there's a 15 second delay from somewhere. Let's just leave it at zero. OK, so that both of these videos are starting to play at the same time. And now if we would play the presentation, it looks like as if only a single video is playing. But you know, there are two layers, two video clips uh, playing at the same time. And now the fun part, we can insert anything that we wish between these two video clips. So let's just start with some text. And the font that I'll be using is called Joyful Mountain. Uh, you can find this beautiful looking font on fontspace.com. Link is in the video description. And to save some time, let me grab the text formatting from my previous slide. You can just hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style and select your text box and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste the style. Let me just add one more line of text. And for this second line of text, let's use font size of 54. Okay, my friends, and now let's jump into the selection pane and let's rename our text box if we wish and let's move it below the front video so that later on when we will be animating this text, it will be hidden by this front video by these mountains 
And this is the effect that we are going for. Alright, and now let's add some animations to our text. So let's make sure that the text is selected. Let's go to animations and let's start with flying animation. Let's make sure it starts with previews. For the duration, we can use 5 seconds. And in the effect options, I'm using maximum smooth end. And now let's make sure that the text is animated by a letter and I'm using 5% delay between the letters. And this is the result. And as you can see, all of the letters are flying in nicely one by one. Super awesome. And let's make it even more dynamic by adding one more animation to our beautiful text box. So let's make sure that the text box is selected. Let's go to add animation. And this time let's go to more entrance animations and let's choose basic zoom animation. All right. Let's make sure that the basic zoom is starting with previous duration 5 seconds. Now this time in the effect options we don't have any smoothing options but for the by letter animation let's choose 5% as before. Okay. So now our text box is flying in and zooming in at the same time. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay now let's make it even more fun by adding some exit animations. So let's go to add animation and this time let's choose a flyout animation. Okay. So let's make sure that it starts with previous and duration of 5 seconds. And now in the effect options, this time I'm choosing a maximum smooth start, alright? And for the bilateral animation, let's keep it at 0%. Percent. Alright? And now let's add one more exit animation and this time we'll be using a basic zoom out animation. So let's just choose basic zoom, alright? So once again, starts with previous duration 5 seconds. Uh, delay 0 seconds for now, we'll add a delay later on. And once again for the bilateral I'm using 0%. Okay my friends and now let's select both of these exit animations and let's add a little bit of delay and let's try 16 seconds. I think that's a little bit too much. Let's try 11 seconds. I think that should work just fine. Okay so let's play the presentation and let's see what we have created so far and as you can see all of the letters are nicely flying in one by one. That's beautiful. And after a short delay, all of these letters should be zooming out and flying away. Super duper awesome. And by the way, let's jump into the selection pane and let me unhide my dog Mars so he is visible. And at the same time, let's go into the animation pane and let's check if everything is okay with the animations. Let's just grab these two animations of my dog Mars and let's move them to the bottom of the list. And now we can just uh, click and drag to reposition these animations anywhere that we wish on the animation timeline. And once again, let's check it out on the full screen. So once again, we should see those beautiful animated letters and after that, my dog Mars. Woof woof. And by the way, if you have enjoyed today's video, I recommend checking out my new second PowerPoint channel, Interstellar PowerPoint, where you will find this awesome video with 10 creative ideas on how to use video in your presentations. So in today's tutorial, we have basically cropped the video to the shape of mountain. And on this video, you will learn 10 more ways on how you can creatively crop videos and use them in your PowerPoint presentations. Link is in the video description. Alright my friends, that was all for today's tutorial. Now you know how you can create this awesome video effect in PowerPoint. Tutorial slides will be made available for download on my Patreon page to all of my supporters on Patreon. Thanks to you my dear friends, I can keep on doing what I'm doing, creating the best PowerPoint tutorials that I can. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.